Hi everyone, my name is John Zmickley and I'll be your instructor for the Fundamentals of Digital and Online Media, that's MC4381. And um, I'm up here in my office here in Old Main and um, I just thought I would give this quick video introduction to introduce myself a little bit and also give you a little tour of tracks and kind of what to expect in the online model. So uh, this uh, class is a hybrid course. Um, it consists of three main elements and we've got lecture and that meets on Mondays or Wednesdays depending on what's on your schedule so um, that's going to meet in ALCAC 250 um, from 2 o'clock to 320 so depending on whether you have Monday or Wednesday I will see you there on a weekly basis uh, the second part of this course is you're gonna have labs and you're gonna have those every other week and those won't meet until the second week of uh, actually the yeah about the third week of classes so February 1st is when some of those labs start um, and I'll give you those schedules when we get to lecture so you don't have to worry about um, trying to make sure you get to lab right away those won't start until February so um, hang tight with that um, that's where you're gonna get a lot of hands-on training you're gonna get to meet with your grad assistants and get time to work on your projects um, in a computer lab setting so that's the second element is the labs and the third is online modules and online um, lessons. So um, that's going to be delivered through tracks and that is what you're uh, viewing right now. Um, and I'm going to give you just a quick tour on what to expect on tracks and how to use this online um, element to the course so that you can succeed. So I want to show you real quick how to access our track site. I'm just going to go ahead and log into tracks here, tracks.txstate.edu. And obviously you are there if you're already viewing this video. But I want to show you um, just kind of what you see when you first get to tracks. It's going to have this welcome page with the video on it. And I want you to go ahead and look at the syllabus and go over it and see if there's any questions that you might have. You'll see that, um, again, like I said, there are three main components to this course. There's lecture once a week, there's lab every other week, and there's online modules. Um, and so go ahead and read that and see if you have any questions about it. Um, down here you're going to see some lab uh, schedules. So if you want to know which lab that you're in, you're going to have to go ahead and look at your schedule and there should be an L next to one of your times. So L, L, you know, L10 or L14 or L03. Those correspond to your lab and your lab times and also the dates specifically that you guys are going to be meeting. You're only going to be about six times throughout the semester. So we're, we're going to talk more about that in lecture, but definitely go through the rest of the um, syllabus and let me know if you have any questions. Um, now, also here in tracks on the left side, you're going to see a tab that says online modules. And this will be very important for you guys um, as you go through the semester to make sure you keep up on these. Um, as we just kind of finished the first intro and syllabus, that, that talked about just kind of intro to the class. But the online modules really cover actual content from the course. And you're going to be expected to do this once a week um, and along with a quiz. So if I was in lab 14, we'll say, um, that would be, I would obviously click here, that's between 11 and 12, I'm sorry, 11 and 20, and then you'll see that it's online module one, and it gives you the dates on when those things are expected to be done and due. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, it'll tell you exactly what to expect, and then I'm um, just kind of give you some readings, some a PDF there that you'll have to read, and then a video, and then um, it's going to introduce you to your first assignment and then you'll have a quiz at the very end of this. So that's really what you're going to end up doing um, between the week, uh, during the week of January 25th. That coincides with some lecture content and it'll prepare you for your lab as well. So um, that's really the beginning and, and as you go through this you'll see that it's going to say, you know, next week, ne next time you log into this, it'll say online module two, and those will, those will continue populating as the semester goes on. So as you go through this, you can see that, for example, the very first um, assignment is going to be listed right here. So you can go ahead and click on that first assignment. Um, it'll give you the due date and what we're expecting of you, and so it'll give you all the instructions and some tips and um, this will be your first assignment to uh, join Twitter and then to complete these 10 and if you can there's an extra credit opportunity for an 11th um, challenge for you to, to do and it gives you all the requirements and everything there. It also gives you here a rubric and when you click there it's going to let you open it up in Excel and it's going to show you what we're going to be grading you on when you 
do this project so you know exactly what to expect. And then as that opens, I'm also going to let you know here, this is where you submit it. And everything that you submit in this class will be done on tracks. And um, it'll give you a receipt once you have submitted something. So if uh, for, the, for this example, um, you're required to submit 10 different links to your Twitter account. And we'll go over that in future online modules to show you exactly how to submit this. But as you submit them, say I submitted the, the link and I just pasted it in there and press submit. Once I press submit, it will give me a receipt that it's done. And make sure you get that receipt because um, sometimes if something goes wrong with tracks or um, you know, you're trying to let us know that you did complete it on time, um, it's really hard uh, for us to know whether you did or not unless we had that receipt. So make sure that you, when you submit it, it does give you a response that, that it did accept your submission. Um, now you can resubmit, say you submitted it and um, you, you messed up or you want to want to update that, you can always do that again over here. Um, just click back on the assignment list. You can go back down here and it will let you resubmit and you post another link and it'll say resubmit down here. Now that is a link that was linked from our online module. Um, that's again how you submit any assignment or update or blog review or anything like that. But you can also do that here on the assignments and blog reviews tab. When you click on the assignments and blog reviews tab, it will give you a list of all the assignments for this class. And when I click on the Twitter scavenger hunt, you see it's basically the exact same thing that you saw from the online module. They're linking to the same place, but you can access that from two different places. So that's what this assignments and blog reviews tab is. Again, they're all going to be linked from your online module as you go through them. But if you also want to access them through this tab, you can do that as well. Um, you've also got a grade book here and that will help you understand uh, the different grades that you've got and, and why you got them and all those kinds of things. And then um, also I wanted to tell you here in the assignments and blog reviews tab, as you go through them and, um, and it was say it was graded and uh, submitted, there will be a way for you to access when you click on this, like after the fact, once you get your grade, um, you'll see a... Um, an attachment from your lab instructor with your grade on it and it'll give you exactly you know they will upload a rubric and they will um, be able to go over you know they'll say all the comments and why you got certain points off and all that kind of stuff so that's also available on the assignments and blog reviews um, you can check your attendance uh, attendance is mandatory in labs so um, you can go ahead and look on this tab to see how you're doing in terms of attendance um, and then I've also left this assessments tab open as well because as I had discussed in the online module at the end of each module you're gonna have a quiz so this quiz one just like your assignment here is accessible here in a tab, your quiz will also be accessible in a tab if you so choose to do that. Now the great thing about having this tab here is that once you've completed a quiz, you can go back to the assessments and check, um, it'll say feedback once you've completed a quiz and you'll be able to get feedback on that quiz and you can use it for studying for your test. Uh, for the midterm and the final because uh, those quiz questions will be used on the midterm and the final. And then um, I also wanted to let you know we have a resource website. When you click on this uh, FDOM website tab, this is a web page that I created outside of tracks for you guys to access anything that you need to um, that will just help you succeed in the class. It's not required, but it is definitely a good resource for you. Uh, for example, we do have a Twitter hashtag and as you kind of look through the, uh, the hashtag, you can find out what other students are talking about. We're also using Facebook. We have a Facebook group. I'm going to be using Snapchat. And we're going to use Spotify as well before, before lecture. Um, but anyway, those I'll talk more about that in lecture. Um, you've also got a course schedule here if you want to know um, exactly what we'll be covering in lecture. You have access to those um, PowerPoints and extra links there. And then you've also got some due dates. If you want to make sure that you write down which what's due when. I've also got a Google Calendar here. And if you want to subscribe to this calendar, you just click right here and it will add this Google Calendar for our class to your smartphone and however you want to subscribe to it. Um, I've also got some links to other students who have done really well in the class and their blogs because um, a lot of this class will be surrounded um, about a blog and so you can do that 
through this tab. Um, there's also any tutorial that I show you in the online module will also be listed here on the tutorials page. Um, if you get lost or need anything, that's usually a good place to go. If you have any FAQs um, about the class, um, you know, like where do I submit my assignments and all that kind of stuff, you can also go ahead and click there and then as well as any contact information that you might uh, need for us. So anyway, that's just an extra resource for you guys to access um, for this course, but that's the basics on uh, tracks and, and I will be going again over all this kind of stuff in lecture. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can ask it then or even send me an email. So anyway, I look forward to meeting you guys and um, thanks for taking the class and I'm excited for a really fun semester.